Good morning, young wizards. Good, Good morning, morning Miss Wu. Wu. Today you will be. <gasps> Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. I I could swear I. Oh, no matter. Last week I promised you all a new field assignment, and just as I said I would, I got you a task in Marleybone. It seems a rather rude feral cat named Jean has taken up residence there and has left quite a few. Um. <clears throat> Ladies, stranded around the rooftops. Banana! Uh, pardon me. Anyhow, I'm sick to death of running errands for the distressed debutantes, so the best thing to do would be to rid them of the source of the problems. That's where you come in, young wizards. Just be sure to watch your face. Jacques is a real scratcher. Great. Now get out of my classroom! I mean, have fun. Can you believe she has us doing her dirty work for her? I think the task is the least of our problems. I've heard bad things about Marleybone. Oh? Well, it can't be as bad as the desert was. You'd think so, but apparently they have a giant prison there, and all the criminals that they had locked up somehow escaped and roamed free all along the rooftops of the city. Not to mention the fact that you get pulled into battles every five seconds there. I'm sure it can't be nearly as bad as people say it is. You know how things tend to be exaggerated over time. You know, you used to say that about the rumor that Ms. Wu was crazy, and now look at her. Well, I'm still not so much worried about the surroundings as I am about the assignment itself. I mean, Jacques the Scratcher? He sounds like a dangerous cat. Ah, old Jacques. He's a nasty one, all right. Why, well, just the other day, Bernice Howard was found all battered up. Four long gashes on her face. There was a note pinned to her, signed by the Scratcher himself. Poor Bernice. Such a pretty girl. She was even purebred. Sorry to interrupt, but what did the note say? The note? Oh, all it said was, ha 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 ha. Interesting? Quite. Well, I hate to cut your investigation short, but I have a job to do. And what job is that? I'm a god dog. Hello, just look at the uniform. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Quiet. Thank you for your time, sir. Oi, before you go, I just need to ask, who sent you? Melinda Wu. M M Melinda Wu? Is something wrong? No, nothing. Go on. I've nothing else to say to you. Okay... Is it just me, or was that guard acting really weird? Everybody's acting weird lately. What do you mean? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if maybe all these assignments were just these elaborate missions set up by Ms. Wu. Like she just goes around and pays everyone to beat us up and sing us songs and... Act completely scared of her? Well... Come on, Zack. People have really been hurt by this guy, Jacques. We can't let our doubts get the best of us. Maybe this is our chance to finally make a difference in the spiral. We failed the other times we tried. What makes you think it'll be any different this time? You'll see. Oi, you gonna get anything to drink? No thanks. We're on duty. Hey, you're those kids, those wizards they sent to get old Jacques the Scratcher, eh? Just how old is the Jacques guy anyway? Quiet. That's us. Oh, I don't envy you that, duty. That Jacques is a nasty brute he is. Why, just the other day, Eloise Smith was found with her face all bad up. Four long gashes, and the note attached to her with the blighter's name on it. Poor girl. And to think she was the spokesmodel for Avon. Tragic, I'm sure. Would you happen to know where this Jacques person lives? <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody knows who this monster is. Just that all the scratchings have taken place in Knight's Court. You don't even have any sort of suspicion of who it could be? No theories? If I were to take a guess, I would say it's that rotten Marcel. He's a real troublemaker, always going around doing his weird ritual dances all over the street. 
If you ask me, he's probably in some sort of cult. And these scratchings, they seem like a ritual to me. Exactly how many times have you seen Temple of Doom? Quiet. Well, thank you for the information. We'll be looking into it. Not at all. By the by, just she was signed you to this mystery. Melinda will. I should go. Thirty minutes on the job and already I'm getting fed up with the city. And then I said, well, you can tell him I won't be going to the policeman's ball with him. The nerve. Interesting. Anyway, that doesn't really answer our question about Jacques the Scratcher. I've already told you all you need to know about him. Actually, no you didn't. You just stood there screaming for two minutes and then started telling us about your invitation mix-up story. Not very informative. <laughs> well, right. I didn't want to talk about it because I've been working rather hard trying to lapse back into my usual vapid mental state. But since it's rather obvious you won't let this go, I suppose I'll tell you. There is a man I've seen around these parts. The other day I was on my way to go to the seamstress's shop to get my purse fixed. You see, it's got this stain on it that no amount of scrubbing can get out and get on with it. Hmm. Anyhow, just as I was on my way down the street, I saw a bit of a tassel between my friend Elizabeth and a dark figure. I couldn't make out who it was, only that he was well-dressed and smelled... French. I heard poor Elizabeth scream, and the next thing I knew, the man was gone. How can you be sure that it was a man? Yeah, it could have been anyone. Well, I don't know. What I can tell you is that the person left their fancy glove behind, and it's certainly not something a woman would wear, at least not one with any sort of fashion sense. <laughs> Perhaps it was Sarah. She's all sorts of mixed up when it comes to her own wardrobe. And where is this glove now? With the only person who would be able to get anything from it. Which is? Why, Sherlock Bones, of course. Why are we at Scotland Yard? There's someone we need to talk to in here. I thought we were going to Sherlock Bones. Don't worry, we will. We're just following another lead right now. <laughs> you want to see Marcel? What on earth for? We need to ask him a few questions about Jacques the Scratcher. Ah, uh, old Jacques. Why do all of you start off talking about him like he's an old friend? Well, good luck trying to get answers out of Marcel. He's just a petty thief. Elementary school dropout, too. Not a thing in that little head of his. But you're welcome to try. Thank you. Be sure and give him a nice hard punch in the face for me, would you? My knuckles are all tired out. He's been here a week, you see, and- Thank you, Constable. Goodbye.